In India, in 2005, a little girl was born with four arms and four legs, and she was believed to be the reincarnation of the goddess Lakshmi. This poem is for her. I figured it was as good a time as any to stage a comeback. I mean, people were believing again, placing their faith in computers and companies, rattling off sitcom punchlines like litanies, celebrating their favorite movie star's birthday. I figured there was plenty of worship to go around. I found myself somewhere warm to wait for nine months and a little girl to call home. And while we waited there together, as intimate as anything, I said, Hey kid, stick with me, and I'll take you places. I tried to announce our coming. I sent our mother fevered dreams of temple building. I held us safe behind her cervix and waited patiently for the festival in my honor before I let her water break. It didn't take long for the villagers to find us. And that worship. It felt like rain on the Sahara, like sun on the Arctic. It had been so long since I'd been worshipped like that. And then a little after that, they started to throw around words like disabled, disfigured, parasitic. And even the little girl herself started to fight me. I kept up my endless promises, anything. Everything, anything, everything. But she just wants to be a normal little girl like every other little girl in a world that's filled with them. I said, darling, have you ever been ancient? Survived empires and invaders, known that you were a gift meant for gods. Honey, have you ever been wealthy? More than money, but in sea and soul and sky, sweetheart, have you ever been beautiful? More than soft skin or large eyes, but the very essence of lovely. Do they love you? Do they press their hands to their hearts after they've touched you? Let your name ring through the streets whenever they are filled with light and love and know that they are there but for the grace of you. But she's only two. She doesn't care. She goes willingly to men that will remove me from her. She lets them slide scalpel between skin and soul. It took them 27 hours to unwind the silk strands of divinity from her nerve endings, but they did it. And years from now, she will even thank them. I was divine. They called me deformed. She traded in eternity. So she could sleep through the night and not wonder if the moon was her next of kin so she could feel comfort in her lover's bed without dreaming of blue arms to hold her. Never wonder if she could have been a better dancer if only she had more limbs.